I'm uh, John Ioannidis. I'm a professor of medicine and of epidemiology and population health uh, at Stanford University. I'm uh, one of the two uh, directors, co-directors of the Meta Research Innovation Center at Stanford, or Metrics. My research is interested in appraising evidence, in trying to understand uh, data, strengths of data, and weaknesses of data, and trying to make sure that we have the most useful information to make decisions that matter. And COVID-19 is clearly the major challenge that we're facing uh, as a country, as the whole world, actually. It is a major threat. We need to act with alacrity, and uh, we need to act uh, having the best data. We need to act uh, having reliable data. Unfortunately, much of the information that we have collected so far, and this is not to blame anyone, it's uh, just uh, something that has arisen very fast and uh, has uh, caught us off guard in a way. It's a new pandemic. Most of that information is not reliable. We, we have increasing evidence that many of the key features that uh, pertain to what this pandemic is about, uh, uh, how uh, lethal is that virus, how many people it has infected or, or will infect, what is likely to be the eventual impact, and how effective are the different measures that we're applying. We have major gaps in practically uh, all of those fronts, because uh, we are dealing with such uh, an unknown and uncharacterized evolving threat with very limited data. Many of our actions are just uh, based on gut feelings, uh, trying to do the most, trying to do our best, but without knowing whether some of them will lead to more harm than good. Unless we do get reliable information, uh, we may just continue doing whatever we do with the best intentions, but doing it just blindly. Based on what we know now, many people who are infected with this uh, coronavirus, they present with uh, very little, uh, either no symptoms or mild, moderate symptoms that are very difficult to distinguish from the common cold and common flu. And many of them apparently would not present for asking for uh, health care and for uh, uh, being tested. So what we know is uh, just the tip of the iceberg. And information from settings where we have more complete information about that denominator suggests that the infection fatality rate is much, much lower than 3.4 percent. It is actually probably much lower compared to the 0.9 percent that is the main uh, figure that went into some influential calculations by a wonderful team of researchers in Imperial College, uh, which uh, probably overestimated the the exact infection uh, fatality risk. It is probably an estimate anywhere between 0 0.05 up to 1 percent may be more reasonable to consider as opposed to, let's say, 3.4 percent. 